So just thought I'd open up uh, just a random file. So I'm going to go to I go to the 3D warehouse outside of outside of 2020. So as you know, the browser for oops, okay, thank you. Duly noted. So the browser is not working anymore. If you go to items, click SketchUp, it gives you this. So it's because I believe um, Internet Explorer was used in this browser and they no longer support Internet Explorer. So here's how you do it alternately. You actually go to Chrome, Firefox, whatever your favorite browser is, can't be Internet Explorer, and then you do 3D Warehouse, it'll come up automatically because I go there a lot. And then, uh, so here's the thing. The other issue with 3D Warehouse is they eliminated anything earlier than SketchUp 2017 versions. So what that means is stuff that comes directly, that you download directly from here, much of it won't work in the current version of 2020. Uh, so I'm going to use, um, look for a, uh, let's see, I'm in a bathroom, so I'll look for a uh, shower seat. Just this is all and okay so uh oh this is cute let's check this out this is a round corner teak shower seat sits on the floor so what you do is you click here to download pull this down okay so there isn't anything earlier than than 2017 now there is a free version of SketchUp available out there called SketchUp Make, and I can send everybody a link to that if you'd let me know in the comments. But I'm going to save it as 17, and I actually have a, a SketchUp directory, SketchUp Shapes directory, so I'm going to save that. To, yeah, and I'm a bit of a SketchUp junkie, so yay, look at all the stuff in here. So I'm going to save this. It's calling it Group 87. I'll just save it as that. Now I have SketchUp on my machine, and if you have SketchUp on your machine, I'm in Chrome, and Chrome has this icon down here showing the item. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that, and that will automatically open up SketchUp. Now if anybody has anything that they wanna use on SketchUp right now, and they don't have, a, they don't have it downloaded, um, just give me a shout, send me a message, an email, um, it's Colin at kitchenandbath101.com. Just uh, send me the shape that you want or the link to the shape that you want, and I'll convert it. It literally takes, okay, now watch. So I open this up, right? I want to go File, Save As, and then I go to here, Save As Type, SketchUp Models. I want to shape, save it as 2016. 2016 and older is what 2020 supports. And then I'm going to add... 2016 to the name of the file just so that I have an idea of which one it is. Okay, so that's step one. That uh, that should get us at least to the point where it will be compatible. Now there are some files that aren't compatible as well with 2020 as others. One thing you want to watch is the file size. Uh, you don't want this to be larger than one megabyte. Anything larger than one megabyte just either takes too long to refresh or, or just crashes altogether. So this should be fine. Uh, there are only two materials in it. Remember, polygons can be troublesome, but if, as long as that doesn't go past one megabyte, you should be all set. So I'm going to go to... So you can do one of two things. I actually have the import right on my Quick Start toolbar, Quick, quick Access toolbar. Um, I've told the virtues of this before but it's a great way to have things at the ready but I'll show you the, the regular way to find it so you want to do uh, file import 
from local storage. Now mine is in my SketchUp shapes. Uh, you may save yours to your desktop. You may save yours to, um, you know, your own SketchUp shapes folder. Uh, it might be in your downloads folder. Uh, but once you find it, click it, click open, and it looks like it's gonna looks like it's gonna load fairly easily. So I'll click and drop it, and I will open it just to see what it looks like. So sometimes the sometimes the textures that they use are pretty decent and you can leave it that way. So that kind of looks okay. Or you can mess around with your own. Uh, and so I'm gonna go, I uh, believe there is a teak texture in 2020. I'm just gonna check it out. And sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. But generic teak, there we go. Uh, we want matte because it's in a shower. Um, wood teak dark, horizontal, vertical. I'm just probably select horizontal, it's a corner seat, so it'll and there it is. There's it's antique. Um, vertical might work better simply because the legs. So I think I'm going to change that. Vertical. You can style or door. It doesn't really matter. It just gives you two different textures so that they look different. So there we go. Now the now the legs look correct and it doesn't really matter for the seat. Say OK. I'm going to move it into my shower. And it's actually not the right way. So I'm going to drop it, move, I'm going to right click to turn it, rotate it. There we go. And there we have it in our shower. So let's see if we can do a render. That's clipping that I have turned on, folks, and it's clipping the heck out of everything out of the way. So I'm going to disable clipping. There we go. So there is the teak seat imported from SketchUp in our shower. Now it looks like it needs to be lowered a little bit, but uh, goes well with the corner shelves. Uh, the corner shelves, in case you're wondering, I made out of uh, custom shapes, uh, actually countertop. And uh, because you can radius countertop, it works really well. I, I reduce the thickness. I can show you quickly what that looks like. So this is just square foot top with a Carrera marble texture applied to it. And that's all there is to it. So that's it. That's, uh, that's it for now. I will, uh, I will try and go live a little bit more frequently uh, as time allows. So see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.